uh, well, look at that confirmation in that third quarter of the women's singles draw that uh, Sung Ji Hyun of South Korea has found her way into the quarterfinals. It was a hard match, but uh, one that she'll be delighted to have come through, no doubt. So, turning our attention to our second match of the day here, men's doubles action between Endo and Watanabe of Japan as the fourth seeds. They take on Govi Shem and Tan Wee Kyung. And that is the section of the draw that we are in, with possible eight seeds awaiting should they come through, the Indonesians. Here come our players. Uh, Govi Shem with his back to us, a man of vast experience. Olympic silver medalists, of course, these two among the best double pairs in Malaysian history. And what's interesting here is they lead the head to head showing against the four seeds. Despite their relatively lowly ranking at 14th in the world, let's listen to the toss. So this, who will be the first serve? Yuta electing to serve then. And then, which side? Which side? Time to receive. So Watanabe always around in the mix as well, looking Super sprightly and agile, the young 21-year-old. That high world ranking of uh, fourth in the world, have been as high as two in the world. But uh, right in the wave of momentum, these two having uh, engineered last week the German Open win, surprising their compatriots in the final. Takashi Kimura and Kiego Sonoda in the men's doubles in 21-12 uh, in the deciding game, his partner. Slightly older, Hiroki Endo, 32 years old, a spirited campaigner that's been around a long time now. We're familiar with him on our screens and what a fine player he is. But between them, they have been uh, right at the pinnacle of the game. I'm alongside uh, Morton Frost here. Morton, great to have you along. Your thoughts? Thank you so much. It's uh, good to be back. And uh, you are, you're so right that uh, Endo has been uh, world number two uh, with his former partner, Hayakawa and uh, they are at their highest uh, ever as uh, number four in the world ranking at the moment. And you're very familiar with these two, of course, aren't you? Tanwi Kyong, the Malaysian, and his partner, Govi Shem, a couple of 29-year-olds, uh, former world number ones, untroubled to their Thai Masters title also earlier this year. Semi-finals at the Malaysian Masters as well. So they're eight and two on this year, these two, and always a handful, Morton. They certainly are, and uh, the best result uh, they had at the All England here was uh, back in 2016, where they got to the semi-final, where they actually lost to Endo and his former partner, Hayakawa. Last year, they lost the quarter-final to Bo and Mogensen in two straight games, 22-20, 21-11. But, uh, as you say, it's a very talented pair. And you can see what's happened in the past. It's the Malaysians, the ranking underdogs at the moment that uh, lead that head-to-head 2-0. -head to to uh, their recent uh, showings as well. First with the German Open in 2018, back in March of last year, and then also the Malaysian Masters just uh, weeks ago, 18th of January, that was. And Govi Sherman, Tan Wee Kyung coming through on both occasions. So, and interesting, in the Malaysian Masters, it was a straight game affair. So, men of real quality, these two. Absolutely. have to be careful. Absolutely. I, I think that uh, the uh, Malaysian pair is, is uh, immensely talented. Uh, they were world number one at the end of 2016, but have been struggling ever since for more than a year now. And uh, is obviously uh, trying to regain their form that took them to that silver medal at the Olympics in Rio. Malaysia obviously having a great tradition in uh, the men's doubles. Uh, 
Kaku and Tanda, just to mention uh, two players, and of course the Sidek brothers uh, back in the 80s as well. Ladies so they have been immensely successful right. in, in the men's doubles of You know, Yuki Edo, Yuta Wakarabi, Japan. Number one left, Go Ishin, Tan Li Kung, Malaysia. Round of 16 men's doubles clash to get underway, featuring the fourth seeds at the Tan top Wei of your Kao. picture. Endo and Watanabe Level taking on Go and Tan of Malaysia. Oh. And I think I forgot another pair from Malaysia that actually also got a silver at the uh, Olympics. That was back in 1996 in Atlanta, and that was Chasun Kit and Yap Kim Hock. So uh, Malaysia definitely a great tradition when it comes to men's doubles. Service over. One over. Dispatched by the only left-hander on court, Watanabe. Service over. Two, one. He mentioned these two, the Malaysians lost to uh, Bo and Morganson last year here. Three, one. That was in the quarterfinals, as you so eloquently said, Morton. 43 minutes it took on this very court. And interestingly, of course, your compatriots, Bo and Morganson, will be uh, in their swan song uh, showing at this tournament together, won't they? They'll, they're up later today on court one here, so we'll get a glimpse of that. Yeah, they played the last match of the day uh, on uh, court number one, and of course it will be uh, very interesting to, to follow the uh, the game they're going to play three. against uh, the compatriots of Endo and Watanabe, yeah, which is Kamura and Tenoda. Thought about hitting it, but uh, good judgment from three, Yuta Watanabe. Yeah, the Japanese pair has never played better than what they play at the moment. Uh, they got to the final of the uh, World Tour Finals in, uh, in Guangzhou and uh, played a really good tournament. I saw the final and in that final, um, Endo actually got injured. He had uh, kind of a pulled muscle in this calf, but Four, he continued three. to play. So he's a tough guy. And uh, they, of course, went on to, to lose that match, but nevertheless, he stayed on court and fought the best he could. He's recovered from that, and as she said, won in Germany just uh, last week. 5-4. And here we see a little bit of a problem for the Malaysian pair in uh, Govishem's defence. The problem is not so much that he missed this one, but uh, he always tends to push it hard. He never really blocks and look for the gap, as what we saw Shang Nan Six, and uh, Kevin Sukumoli doing yesterday. Here he's always going for the hard counter-attacking shot at every single opportunity, which makes it a little bit easy to read. I mean, I guess, Morton, Seven, on that basis, four. that that kind of tactic presumably has served him very well because, of course, they, the, the Japanese have never beaten the two Malaysians, have they? So it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. I was going to in, yeah, sort of... Quiz you as to what what happens tactically when they play, given the given the score lines that we've seen. In favor yeah, it will be two. interesting Service to see. Over. I haven't seen the two matches they played when the two Malaysians won it, but uh, we will see here Five, today what really seven. works for Go and Tan, or uh, what's not working for 
Watanabe and Indo. But let's see, it's still early, early days in this match. This is where the Malaysians are at their best when uh, Tan Wee Kong Six, here seven. at the front and Gobi Shem at the back. The interception here by Tan Wee Kong, so fast and crisp. That's when he's at his absolute best. Yeah, good interception there by uh, Watanabe. Service over. Very talented uh, young left-hander. You can't really call him talented anymore, can you? He was uh, having a fantastic All England last year, winning the mixed doubles with partner Higashino. And this partnership in the men's doubles got to the uh, semi-final. Yeah, that was a freak win, wasn't it, in the mix? They really did uh, sort of come from nowhere. Nice. Yeah, they, rampant uh, throughout. They did upset the uh, top, top, top favourites uh, from China, Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong on that occasion and won the All England last year. well left I think I think Ten. we have a challenge Six. here Tan Wee Kong is challenging Tony Kong challenges it looked Four out eight. and it looked like he was not in doubt at all but uh, let's see what Hawkeye is saying as you say let's go upstairs isn't that what you're saying that's the way <laughs> I put it <laughs> I don't know how he coped before without Hawkeye just so, such a great factor for the crowd as well just so engaging isn't it that was in, that was well in. Clock on the line. Successful. So, uh, One the uh, confidence from Tan Wee Kiong was pure, you Ten know, six. show. <laughs> yes, a blagger, <laughs> we say. Service over. Seven, ten. Got all the answers at Ten. the moment. That was a fine point. Spreading the court beautifully as well. Yeah, it's three points in a row here for the two Malaysians, and uh, they desperately needed because 11-6 uh, was not very appealing to them going into a mid-game interval. 9-10 down. Service <laughs> Definitely over. much, much better. 11-9 interval. So we head to the turn then, with just uh, two points between these two teams. Eight minutes played, and it's 11-9 in favour of the fourth seeds. これ大事ね。で、来た後にあなたちょっと。で、落としてもう一回。1 Service over. So the two Malaysians Ten. obviously Eleven. also have a point to prove that they uh, opted out of the uh, Badminton Association of Malaysia just uh, at New Year's this uh, this year. And so they've just been what we call independent players uh, for about two months from January and February. So they obviously have a point to prove that they are still a force to be reckoned with and they can uh, cope outside the system.
Morton on the basis that you spoke of. I wonder whether they've secured any sponsorship. Of course, that's the big thing, isn't it? It it's is. It's all about sort of surviving financially. Absolutely, and I'm, I'm sure they had secured sponsorship even uh, before they left, just to make sure that you know they're not going into into this blindly. Good smash there by Watanabe. Service really ball. well placed on the forehand side of Tan Wikiong. Such a good steep angle, wasn't it? Got right up there, the Greyhound lean Watanabe. Gorgeous changes of pace and direction, and just such high skill level, and it's just so all engaging, isn't it? The men's doubles discipline because of the speed that everything's played at. It's really good, and, and we have a very fine example here of uh, Endo working very well on the on the back line from side to side, but still able to generate a lot of power from his smash. got over as we can see just clipping the top of the tape and uh, yet another point for the two uh, Japanese the Malaysians really have to be very careful that they are not uh, tending to be too defensive in what they're doing they have to go on the attack because that's by far their strongest suit and what we saw here is this very good smash from uh, Gobishem that's when the Malaysians are playing the best this is when uh, they are attacking and try to look at the angle on this one. It's really beautiful. But they have a strong tendency suddenly just to stand side by side and lifting, and that's Play. definitely not the way for this partnership to win. Well, there's an example of the sort of cross block off that backhand that he normally plays so well but that time even despite the drift on coming very subtly just long of the back line from go it's so good normally at countering uh, with those sudden flicks and drives catching their opponents unaware You're right, Morton, they do have a point to prove, don't they? Five points ahead right now, they've been really focused, finding the space on the court there. Again, it's Watanabe, the instigator. He's been standout so far. You tell Watanabe yeah, don't bother flick serving me again, please. <laughs> that was yeah. brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, we have a challenge on it, let's see whether it's in or out. Quick to get back to that flick serve, though. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remains. Service over. 13 17. They've won six out of the last seven points. The fourth seeds, Endo and Watanabe, playing really well now with the momentum behind them too. See, this is where the Malaysians are playing the best. Tan Wikong at the front, Govishem at the back, and the big power smash from Govishem. But the problem is that when they are under pressure and the rally gets going, you, you block to Govishem. He tends to lift and give away the initiative all the time here, as you can see, Tan Wikong was fighting for that initiative, but that's the best, I must say, commentator's curse, but that was an awesome 30, defensive shot there 70. by uh, Gobi Shem. Yeah. Flat block here from the top Look draw. At Look one. at that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Reflexive brilliance. And 
no, the 16, two a Japanese and the Watanabe really have to watch out. They they don't become too defensive because uh, the last few points has gone in the way of uh, Malaysia and it's getting really close now. Yeah, it's four in a row. It's it was 17 about, 12 up, and yeah. Watanabe, yeah. All about initiative. Service over. Yeah, Kong is appealing to 16. the umpire, saying that uh, Watanabe hit the shot. Let's see, let's have a look at this one. I think the umpire is OK. The, that shot is definitely over the tape, and uh, Watanabe is hitting it on his own side. Service over. 17, 18. He has been 18. wired, hasn't he, over the last four or five points? have done really well to haul this back to level. As I say, they were 17-12 down earlier in the game. And now 19 18, 19, 18. Yeah. And maybe a little, uh, a few seeds of doubt in uh, the minds of the Japanese, having lost twice before in their only two previous showings against this very pairing. This is absolutely where the two Malaysians are at their best. Look at the change over here. Govishem suddenly up there at the net to kill it. Very nice rotation as well from the Malaysians. And it's as if they're onto something tactically that we don't quite know about, but they've just uh, got the magic potion out of late and turned this one right around in their favour. Now they've got a couple of game points going down. There's no doubt the reason is that they are far more aggressive now than when they were 12 17 down. Well, you can hear the guttural roar of approval from the two Malaysians. Govi Shem and Tanwi Kiong secure the opening game 21 points to 18. They'll be pleased with themselves there. That'll feel like a real wounder to the Japanese fourth seeds. Here we have Coach Chuchu 他們的那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那個那
seven games. Well, judging from what we've seen so far, here we go, the start of game two. Sense that it's on the Malaysian racket, this one. Seemingly turning that opening game around at will. It was a very strong comeback. 12-17 down and then winning at 21-18. That was a very strong back comeback there by the two Malaysians. But for the Japanese to turn this one around, I, I really sense that uh, the left-hander Watanabe have to turn some of his magic on and, and really try to uh, fight for that initiative at the net and, and put the two Malaysians on the back foot. That was a good shot. Really got out of trouble there, Endo. <laughs> one of the best rallies of the match, that one. Yeah, big miss. Big miss here by... Tan Wee Kong on the interception on this one here, going wide on the sideline. So uh, while they uh, wipe the court, uh, I can say that the Malaysians did not qualify for the World Tour final. The HSBC World okay, Tour finals in uh, Guangzhou, but uh, the Japanese player did. They qualified as the last player. They were number eight qualifying. Two love. Clap. Service over. One, two. Called out. Two all. Uh, four square. Two all. <laughs> and a more steady one of the two when it comes to serving. Three, two, Once again, a good serve there. And the Japanese really have to try to turn this one around. If you look at it from their point of view, they have to be much, much more aggressively thinking and really trying to fight for initiative a bit more. Uh, especially giving the opportunity to block as and when uh, they have that chance on Gobishim uh, here. But this was awesome interception. Look at that one, so quick. And it's all about also, of course, confidence. And there is no doubt, as uh, Paul is saying, that the two Malaysians definitely seem to have a lot of confidence from their winning on the last two occasions. Tragic for the Malaysian player when they play that final in Rio at the Olympic Games. They actually had two match points in the final. And on both occasions, one 
get served in the net. Oh, one each. That's cruel, isn't one it? One each. Oh. Can you believe that? Tight tension, the sense of occasion Service that's got over. to them. So they're interesting Ooh. saying that, Morton, just had a good indication of just how good they are to get themselves into that predicament in the first place. Yeah, they had a very strong year, 2016, and it, they went all the way to the top of the world ranking as well, and they won the, the year-end final in December. But from there, they sort of got into trouble with lots of discussions. Uh, they were, did not agree on, on a lot of stuff, and then at one point, they were actually split up with two different partners, and now they're back together and trying to see whether they can find that same form that took them to number one in the world in 16. Well, Govishem has been very, very bossy and kind of dictatorial in his game style, the way that he plays his trade, I find fascinating. He's a, he's a real sort of bullier of points, isn't he? And, and he's, he's, he's imposing, he sees it quick, and as you say, well, I, I kind of sense his flat, hard drives are just so accurate and deadly, and his blocks, uh, he's something quite special, isn't he? Has he found this? No, not quite. No. Nope. Nope. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge to remain. But still, they've engineered a run of six consecutive points earlier in this second six, game, so uh, they'll be pretty uh, pleased with the way that this is unfolding. More importantly, what can these two men of experience bring to try and turn this ailing head-to-head -head deficit around? Oh. Oh. Talking of brilliant Seven, cross blocks, eight. there was one there from Yuta Watanabe. He'll be pleased with that. Yeah, that's a very nice drive. Try to look at this one. Getting across court and just over the head of uh, Govishem. Was, uh, from his perspective, it should have been killed, it should have been finished by then. A really good defence by Watanabe. Service over. Nine, seven. Well, the former world number one team's pedigree on display again. Service over. I feel we're doing a bit of a disservice to the Japanese because, of course, they've been right up there in the rankings and still are. They are the seeds. They're world number fours and just two spots off of their career high back in June 2014 of two in the world. So this really is top-notch badminton. Takes some doing, doesn't it, when you've been throwing yourself around the court, like uh, scurrying everywhere, and then suddenly having the sort of clear headedness to let that one land out. a good fight for initiative here by Endo and Watanabe. They did not lift it. They were really fighting a lot for that initiative, pushing a lot to the backhand side of uh, Govishem. And it paid off.
で打たれた時はちょっとこっちのじゃなくて今渡辺で打たれたそれだけでいいよ相手無理したらアウトだから今のは今の感覚を跳ねるからねいいね誰前入ったら半ばするちょっと進歩ばする。反正你们想打多拍，先就是这个状况，你打多拍。就不接了，就是那个球打打几拍的时候，就差差不多踩到很那里啊，那边肯定一定一定要紧接啊，他才他才怕你啊，好，调那边 ，OK， 那个这这边没有，就弹的时候就，弹进去，然后就走，啊。Well, they're really having to get uber aggressive right now, Endo and Watanabe. There's no doubting that, and they really have done. They've thrown caution to the wind, and uh, well, they're uh, gaining dividend from that right now. Service over. Ten, twelve. Well, the runner point stops at five for the fourth seeds, but still they'll be pleased with themselves there. And then they'll really sort of build their belief and their sense that they can get past these awkward Malaysians who are so tricky. 11, 12. You know, Morton, it makes me beg the question, if the light blue team from Malaysia lost to Bowen Morganson last year in straight games, fairly emphatically and lopsided it was, is it just that maybe the Japanese game style just doesn't fit nicely, you know, against the Malaysians? And, and you know, some players you play, some teams you play, you just enjoy the way that they play. I think they enjoy the way they play, but there's, I, I really think it's a lot to do with confidence. And when the Malaysians are having good confidence, they, they can play Sorry, at a very, very high level. They, um, they had a very fine uh, match against uh, Gideon and Sukumoyo at the uh, Malaysian Masters in January. It went not the full distance, but they were so tight in, t in the two games, and it was awesome to watch. So they have that ability. They can play as one of the very, very best players in the world. Service over. 12, They've been 13. so sort of decisive in their dispatches as well. There was a fine example of that, just redlining through that shuttle with utter conviction. Govishema. Oh, I thought that was a pretty decent drive there from Endo. Yeah, that was a bit of a lucky shot uh, by Tan Wee Kyung, but uh, what a fantastic outcome it was. To be able to create that kind of angle with that much oncoming pace is uh, otherworldly, isn't it? It's Sukumunio level. That said, something we haven't spoken about is the way that the uh, top two seeds are out of the men's doubles already on day one. Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Think of that. Japan has uh, only got two pairs left in the men's doubles, which is obviously Endo and Watanabe is what we see now, and then it's uh, Kamura and Sonoda, which means that uh, coach Mainaki from uh, Indonesia, who's been in Japan for, I think, the past 10 years or so, really working hard with the men's doubles. This is his last tournament, so he's got two pairs left. I'm sure he wants, you know, to push them all the way to the final. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice if he got his that way? Would, that would be a good way of... Uh, yeah, a nice uh, send-off. Yeah, sending off here. So uh, he's going back to Indonesia to coach back at uh, PVSI, the uh, Badminton Association of, of Indonesia. Service over. 50. 
It's all about who is the most steady of the two pairs here at the end of the second game. And that service definitely oh. something that uh, Endo and Watanabe cannot afford. The idea was fine, but the execution really let Endo down. That's a good return of serve by Watanabe and restoring the two-point lead. Good play, that is awesome play we just witnessed here. Really fighting for the initiative at the net. Tan sends this one here, here. this yeah. one here, look at this one, and once again. And look at that defensive shot there by Tan Wee Kyung. Got it back when he really needed it. Dig deep right here and do something they've never done before. And to somehow find a way to beat these two canny on the world number one Malaysian team. Service over. There is a good run of points uh, for Shem and Kong. And they uh, took four points in a row. 15, 17 down, 19, 17 not. Oh, that's a good flick serve there by Endo, really surprising. It's a very tricky time to do that because you never know whether you're being caught for, you know, hitting that shot too high on, on the serve. And that was a chance to take, but that was really well taken by Endo. 19 all. It is one of the problems that we see when it's getting really tight. Endo is not comfortable on his low serve, 
and that's also why he's flicking it. It's, you've seen it on many other occasions. He's not that comfortable on that low serve when it's getting very tight. So as we approach uh, 40 minutes then, it's a match point opportunity for Go and Tan. They find a way again. Somehow they wriggle through in a very tight men's doubles encounter. Through to the quarterfinals they go. Go Visham and Tan Wee Kiong from Malaysia. Really, really, what a showing from these two. Just so professional, so solid throughout, and just uh, really well played. Congratulations to them because they have to fend off the might of the fourth seeds, but again, they down them for a hat trick of consecutive wins over this very team. So, showing their mettle today, they'll be absolutely delighted. And uh, they live to see another day through to the last eight for. Here you for Gobishem and Tan Wee Kiong of Malaysia.